Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. I want to apologize ahead of time if I sound a little off. I've been recuperating from a migraine I had yesterday. Um, so I'm still, I'm better today, but I'm still a little, uh, you know. Okay, so I'm going to show you a diamond painting from Craftsy Art. Uh, Sophia was nice enough to send this to me. Um, so thank you, Sophia, very much. Um, full disclosure, I did receive this diamond painting free of charge um, so that I could um, give a first impression on my channel. Now, if you remember, originally, I'm going to show you that in a minute. Originally, um, Sophia had sent me these two diamond paintings. Uh, sorry for the glare. Um, and I had stated in my video that this image in particular is way too small for um, what it is. It's too pixelated. Something like this needs to be a much bigger size. Um, so don't listen to Zoe. She's fussing because I didn't let her in here. Um, so because I had said that, Sophia was nice enough to say, hey, I'm going to send you a larger diamond painting so you can see what the bigger ones look like. Um, so that's what we're going to go over here. But these were the two that originally were sent to me. Now from a distance, you can tell that that's a lighthouse and that this is ocean. But when you get up close to it, you really can't tell what it is. So um, this one is a beautiful image. Um, and I, I'm probably going to go ahead and do this one because everybody said they wanted me to do this one over the lighthouse. Um, but this one too is fairly pixelated when you get up close to it. So anyway, just wanted to show you those are the two smaller ones. And now we're going to look at the bigger one. Uh, this one is, um, I know it's a fish. It's like a, a fighting fish. And it's a 45 by 85 centimeter. And it's $17.99 on Craftsy Arts website. So we're going to get into this. Hope everybody's having a fabulous day. Um, it is gorgeous here today. It is about 80 degrees. Um, nice breeze. Sorry for the noise. Oh, okay. That's my fault for doing that. Yeah, we're just going to... There we go. Um, so anyway, I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, okay, so this, yeah, this is a big one. There's your drills. We'll go over that in a minute. I'm just going to roll this the other way before I lay it out. Um, yeah, so I've just been recuperating from this migraine. It was... It was really bad yesterday. I was pretty much in bed all day, and the cats just took turns laying up next to me. It was it was actually kind of cute. It's amazing to me they know when when you don't feel good. Um, animals are so perceptive. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have to do it in sections because of the glare. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so that's your, your top. You're going to have a lot of color blocking, which I don't mind. And then that's the fish, and it just keeps going and going. <laughs> Look at the tail. And going. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you've got more at the bottom. So with this canvas, you do have, it's only 22 colors, and you do have, you have a legend on the bottom right. And then you also have a legend on the top left. And if you look here, I might be able to show this to you if it'll focus. Um, that is your schematic. Come on camera. Why are you doing this to me? There we go. Um, and then your, your drill field. really clear. Even the darker ones look clear. Let's look in the where the fish is. Yeah, really clear drill, drill field. I mean, really clear. Looks great. Looks great. Okay, right, let me try to move this light a little bit so it's not as glaring. 
Very pretty, very pretty. Now I will say the plastic that covers these diamond paintings are, is very thin, very sticky. So I usually replace these with um, parchment squares. I'm just trying to, now the wrinkles you see are in the plastic. They're not in the actual canvas. This is a poured glue canvas. Yay, isn't it just beautiful? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, and we will, um, uh, hold on one second, sorry. It's getting a text. And um, we're gonna go over drills. Now, it looks like there are, I'll try to show this to you. There are DMC codes on the right side going down. Um, I don't think, and we'll look at it when I, oh my gosh, come on camera. Um, I don't think the DMC codes are going to be on the drills. Let's see, 13. No. Okay, so the drills are only going to be numeric. Which is fine. It doesn't bother me. Okay. Um. All right. So we'll do it this way. Let me bring you down into the business. Okay. Right. Sorry. Gonna... Okay. So this is number 13. And this is a round drill cut. Um, I don't see any trash. I do see a few dimples in the drills. But honestly, that isn't going to affect it laying down unless there's like an actual hole in it it's not going to affect it at all so it doesn't bother me so i have three bags of 13. Uh, 13 is a so that's the big expanse of all of this dark blue here and then you've got 14 15 my camera being a patootie. Y'all. <laughs> uh, it looks like I've got one, two, three, wow. Five bags of 16. Just dark blue. What is 16? 16 is B. So B is also, if you see, B is mixed in next to the A. So you're going to have a lot of A and B. Okay, so five bags of that. Uh, then there's 17 camera. Okay. 18, two bags of 19, um, 20. And then you have three bags of 21. That's a pretty peach color. And then 22 is a white. This is number one, so that's J. So that's gonna be in the aqua, the lighter aqua areas around the outside of the tail fin. It's pretty. Two is a gray. Three is a gray. Four is like a, um, like a putty color. Five. Six, seven, eight, nice orangey yellow color, nine, ten, all right, two bags of 11, that's also going to be down in the uh, tail fin, camera, got 12, 
13. I look. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 13. So what is 13? Oh, okay. So it's more of, of what I already showed you. So it's more of, of this one. So that's A. So wow. So you've got seven, eight, nine, ten bags of 13. So that's all the ones that go in the background. That's the A and B. And then down, down here at the bottom, you've got that as well. So this is a gorgeous diamond painting. Um, I think it's very, very lovely. Oh, tool kit. You get two just basic tool kits. Um, pink pen, green boat, uh, the wax. Now that wax is a really light pink, so it's not going to be um, as good a wax as what you would get in um, other kits. But you know, you can still do your <coughs> excuse me. You can still do your diamond painting with these kits. All right. All right, so let me get, I know I can measure it. What did I say? It's 45 by 85. Um, that's gonna be the length of the whole canvas, I'm pretty sure. So let's see. So yeah, we're looking at 40 width. I don't even think I can measure it all the way. Let's see. Yikes, let me do it this way. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's 80 long. So I'd say 40 by 80 is the actual size of the, um, of the, the area you're going to drill. Here we go. Let's do this. That way you can see the whole thing. There we go. I should have done that to begin with, you know, you know, struggling today, but that's okay. Such a beautiful diamond painting though. This, this looks so much nicer in my opinion than, than these two. Um, the clarity is just much better because it's bigger. So, um, you always want to make sure if you're going to get a diamond painting, there's nothing wrong with getting snack size diamond paintings. But if you get a snack size diamond painting, um, you want to make sure that whatever the image is, is big so that you can see, you know, what it is and you get the clarity. Um, like this one. This one's great. Love this. So, Sophia, thank you so much for sending this to me. Um, definitely will add this to my list of diamond paintings that I want to get done. Um, it's awesome. Here, I'll turn it this way again so you can see glare is horrible. What happens if I just turn off my light? I've got my window open, so. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. That fan on that tail. Look at that, how it fans out. Ooh. Okay, so have any of you ordered from Craftsy Art? Let me know in the comments below. And if you did, what did you order? I'd be interested to know what you ordered. Um, have you worked on it? What do you think? All that good stuff. Um, is this diamond painting one that you would be interested in working on? Yeah. I know I would. This is great. It's huge. Um, that's another question I have. For those of you that have these, and I think I've asked this before, that have these landscape um, style diamond paintings, how do you frame them? Um, I could use my... I guess I could use my metallic, just a little bit of dirt right there. I could use my metallic frames. Um, I'm just a little concerned because the longer they get, they tend to curl on the sides when you use the um, magnetic, not metallic, magnetic frames. Um, yeah, so let me know how, how you would frame something like this of this size. Um, I would be interested to know interested to know so yeah so that is the fish from crafty art so again thank you to everyone uh, Sophia thank you for sending this to me I really appreciate it um, and I will definitely get to this 
sometime in the new year. Uh, and to everyone, if you're new here, thank you again for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and thumbs up if you like the video. And thank you to all my Patreons for your continued support. As always, much appreciated. Uh, for those of you that are interested in my Patreon, the link will be down below. You can check it out and see if it's um, if it's a fit for you. Of course, it's never expected, never necessary, but it is a way to help support my channel. So I hope everybody has a fabulous day. Uh, I am going to go continue to relax and recover a little bit. And I will see you again really soon. Bye, guys.